All right, here he is, the Team Alpha Male staple, the former UFC Bantamweight champion, Cody No Love Garbrandt. He was 11-0 when he beat Dominic Cruz to win the belt back in 2016. Some recent adversity for Cody No Love, but this is a special athlete who most people believe will eventually get on track. Cody Garbrandt is a guy that has competed in so many sports at such a high level. Yes. He was a state champion wrestler, was a state champion football player, but then decided he was going to focus on boxing became a Golden Gloves champion, a guy that has all the ability to once again hold the UFC championship. How about Cody Garbrandt playing middle linebacker, 135 pounds in the state of Ohio. In Ohio. Tells you all you need to know about Cody Garbrandt back on the proving ground here tonight. Here he is, DC. In my mind, this is the most dominant force in the MMA game today. The undisputed UFC lightweight champion, your AKA teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. Yeah, and for Khabib, it's the well-rounded skill set that has propelled him to one of the longest undefeated streaks in mixed martial arts history. No missteps, no mistakes, no underestimation of opponents. Always prepared, always ready to go, and he can rely on his the coaching he gets also on the ability that he has to carry him to victory time and time again. Wrestling, Sambo, Jiu-Jitsu, striking, the guy has it all. I know you listed striking last, but your head coach, Javier Mendez, says sometimes he's going southpaw yeah. in training. We haven't seen just how good a striker he is. We saw shades of the McGregor fight. Yes. But not complete. But technically, he has so many skills that he has not even displayed to the MMA community yet. All right, another big spot for Khabib Nurmagomedov here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. The American is 29. The Russian is 31. He is two inches taller. He will have a five inch reach advantage. We send it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's what is the first? Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter holding a professional record of 12 wins, 5 losses. He stands 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Sacramento, California, Cody No Love the Crab. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, Nurmagomedov! All right, Grinton rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, come back to your corners, come out fight. They touch him up, and we are underway. So here we go, this highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. Right. One guy is known for his diverse attack on his feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchanges. And he landed the right hand there. These guys throwing early. Good stick. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. Nice little shot, guys. Oh, he is up, but man, is he hurting. 
A finish could come here at any time. All right, so one minute into the fight, we've got a full-on brawl here, DC. It's great for the fans, not necessarily for the gas tank if this thing goes much longer. Not great for the gas tank and not good for the old noggin. You can't <laughs> take so many outside the head. Somebody's going to sleep. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And Khabib lands early and he lands often. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Cody Garber. Oh, and there he goes, working off that jab again. How's your jab, DC? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch in the first one you learn is a jab. Right. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. Oh, nice punch there by Garber. Back and forth we go! Oh, that right hand is on point. Nurmago Medov's cheek looks like it's cut here. Starting to bleed a little bit now. Garbrandt gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. Beautiful straight punch there by Nurmago Medov. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. This young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. Garbrandt gets caught with that punch. Nice one-two there. <laughs> Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Slips the punch nicely there. He blocks the punch. There's the jab. Now another for good measure. Nice job there by Cody Garbrandt. Big kick land. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder rounds. That one stuck in. Nice strike. Oh, that's a nice strike there by Nemango Metal. You're always thinking wrestling when you fight Habib, but you better be very weary of his stand-up. He's developing the skill every single day. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jab. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking. He's rolling and slipping. He's doing a great job. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Swing and a miss by Nermango Meta. Oh, nice call right here. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Nice punch by Nermango Meta. Oh, he tagged him with the punch there, DC. That's an educated left hand. He's got great timing with his left hand. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Nermanko Medov gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. it was Daniel Cormier you were one of the greatest mixed martial arts athletes of all time I'm not sure you can do a Superman punch like that though with my luck I would try to push off and my foot would be slippery wet <laughs> or something I would fall right into a knee no I would not try that I don't have that ability I'm not that free inside the octagon all right buckle up here we go round okay, two right, right. Habib Nurmagomedov right. and Cody Garner nice so he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Oh, and 
there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cuffey. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC, connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Oh, nice. Nice. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Nice punch, land. Tamago Medos cut is only getting worse, making a nice donation to the canvas tonight. Pretty good straight punch there by Garber. All right, leads with the right hand, and that one certainly found its desired target. It landed instead of the jab, he threw straight right hand. Well, from a striking standpoint, he has put it all together tonight. He has landed a ton of significant strikes, and pretty easy fight, I would think, for the judges. It's a pretty easy fight to score. Tonight was a night where everything went right, and that doesn't happen very often. So unofficially, 112 total strikes have landed for Cody Garbrandt. Just below 50% now in terms of the accuracy rate, landing 46% tonight against Khabib Nurmagomedov. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here and as a result has really picked up the pace in round two. Plus right hand is true. Straight right, he misses. Slips to avoid the right. Look at him with his hip to that kick. Connects with the right. Keep your hands up for me. Come on now. And he's looking for that left hand just missed. Nice. Big head kick lands. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Big right hook coming. It's blocked. Garbrandt's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Under two minutes now in round two. All right, so he continues to land that jab. His opponent said he was ready for it, but doesn't appear to be. You're not ready until you're in there. You can watch all the film you want. You can spar as much as you want, but until you feel a guy with a fast jab like this, you don't understand the precision of that punch. Just out of range with that left hook. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. Big kick lands. Oh, nice straight punch there by Nermako Medov. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Nermago Medov gets caught with that punch. All right, so he lands another punch there, and he smells blood in the water, going right back at that cut. Absolutely. The opponent has a lot of scar tissue around the eyes. He was able to cut it open, and now he's just touching it over and over again. Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's going to give his opponent some problems if that gets landed. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his... Oh! Yeah. Keep the pressure on. Everything's landing. Oh! 20 seconds to go round two. Big ball from punch land. Now he gets back to range. And that is a serious cut. Final seconds here of round number two. Oh, nice jab there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the right direction. Mission accomplished. Ah. You are battering that dude.
third round underway. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, tags him with the jab on the counter. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. High-level MMA defense there, able to avoid the punch. Nice job by Nurmagomedov. Good punch. Oh, vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You gotta start checking these, He's man. Got to check these kicks, or you're gonna be limping on the outside very short. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. So just under 200 total strikes have now landed for Cody Garth. While dipping just below 50% in terms of the connection rate, landing with 49% accuracy tonight thus far against Khabib Nurmagomedov. Right. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Garbrandt's lower jaw very swollen now. Time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. Oh, he missed with that right hand. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how how good that feels to get kicked like that. Johnny does. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to get kicked like that. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Decent right hook attempt, but it's no good. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, body kick attempt here. It's no good. Oh, man. Oh, big left hook there. Leg kick there by Cody Garbrandt. Big punch lands through the middle. Oh, pinpoint knee to the body. If you're trying to knock me out, you one knee to the body, I'm done. Every time the opponent tries to get close, he just drives that knee to the body. Great time. Under two minutes now to go in our third round. Oh, now he stuns him beautifully with the left hand. The left hand is so accurate, so educated. He's so able to fight from both fighting stances. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh, such a natural jab, and there it is again as he gets the hand right to the target. I mean, right to the target, John. It's like the dude sitting there with a red target on his nose, just getting beat up, hit bullseye after bullseye after bullseye. I love his ability to faint once and then throw that jab right behind it. It's nasty. Counters with the left hook. Nicely done there. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Garbrandt gets caught with that punch. Under one minute remains in round three. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. Sneaky head kick. Beautiful straight punch there. His boxing fundamentals are just so clean. Oh, he looks so sharp tonight. Able to check that kick as well. 
Rembrandt gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. Get out there and get back to work. All right, so next round underway here, and you gotta admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Blocks the shot. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Wow. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Well, he oh! Blocks the kick. Oh! And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Defensively, nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Pretty good right hand. Oh, he continues to attack that bloody cheek. His face is a mess. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Punch over the top. Well, you know, Cody Garbrandt's uncle Robert Meese there in the corner has got to like what he's seeing out of his nephew's stand up here tonight. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, nice jab by Dermago Metal. Combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. There. He's so accurate. When he decides to attack, it is a sight to behold. Oh, blocks the shots. Big kick lands. Oh, he slips there and then counters beautifully. His coaches are certainly going to like that. They've been begging him to take advantage of his reach edge. And he certainly did that. Trying the flying knee there. Very tricky. Throws that body kick. Slips. Good fight here under two to go. All right, so there he goes, continuing to land that jab. When they put this highlight together, it's just going to be one head snapping back. It's going to be boxers going back and watching this guy going, wow. See on that punch right there. His opponent's compromised, DC. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. Nice one-two there. Good job keeping that head off the center line. Slips to avoid the right hand. He loaded up on that right hand, too. And both guys really throwing with authority. Sliver kick. Under a minute to go. Straight punch lands. Rips the body there for good measure. Forty-five seconds remain in the round. He's driving the back of the head. 
pull it forward on the head and then land those beautiful punches. Really has got his opponent on notice here. Stick that double jab out there. Kick to the body by Nermago Meta. Nice shot to the body there. For him now, you see the cut on his cheek has gotten really, really bad. And even though it's not affecting his vision, if it gets any worse, the doctor will be called in. And I can assure you, he's going to have no choice but to stop this fight. All right, let's get you a replay from that previous round. It was the big knockdown, courtesy of that kick that that nearly closed the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing's more discouraging than when you get somebody hurt that bad and you don't shut the door. He has to go back to work now knowing that he's got about That's as tough right, a guy as, he, as he's ever had in front of him in the octagon tonight. Look at the turnover and that kick. Nice jab, falls up. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go take that finish down now. Just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight, it's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. And there he is after the huge knockout turned in tonight. Near perfect execution and one of the bigger highlights of his UFC career. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at 15 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout, Tony So there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And